check. I have executive chef Jason Graham here with me from the Calabi Health Spa in Vista. And you're here to show us sort of how to eat a little bit better this holiday season. Yeah, a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit better. So that's all about sort of substituting ingredients, correct? Yeah. What are some of those ingredients we can, we can substitute in to order to eat better? What I like to do is take regular recipes a lot and deconstruct them and put in things that are healthier but may have the same effect. It's not a replacement. It's just an alternative. Okay. A lot of people say, well, it doesn't taste like heavy cream. Some of the things I really like to use are Earth Balance or Smart Balance, which is great to uh, use an alternative to butter. Uh -huh. Agave instead of Earth Balance or Stevia um, in, a, in, a, in certain forms mm -hmm. can be used in certain ways. Silken Tofu is a great way to, uh, to use instead of mousses at certain times. Okay, Almond milk, things like that, whole wheat pastry flour, mm -hmm. um, things like that. So there's lots of different stuff you can put in there. Okay, and this agave, what... Yeah. Is that agave in tequila? That, yeah, that's that's what you drink every Friday night. You, you have plenty <laughs> of agave. You don't even know it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the the agave comes from the blue or white uh, agave cactus uh, plant. The nectar that comes out of the base is a sugar. It's a low glycemic sugar. So unlike a lot of other sweeteners, um, it affects your blood sugar real slowly. Oh, so calorically, okay. it's the same, but it's going to be a little healthier for you. So All it's right. not in an absence of something. You know, a lot of times, you look at something there's no calories or, or zeros across the board. Usually, mm -hmm. there's a problem with it. Can you get that like? Health Health food? Whole Foods? Uh, sometimes. Health food Whole store definitely okay. have it. Sometimes those stores have them in small amounts. Okay, great. So we're going to be making first a little pecan dish, correct? We're going to do a pecan pie okay. filling. Okay. Now, traditionally, it's corn syrup, refined sugar, uh, some type of butter, egg, just kind of simmered together, and then we're going to put it in the crust and bake it. Uh, I'm going to use the alternative ingredients I told you about. So first thing I have is I'm actually going to use a little bit of maple syrup. Ooh. Nice and hot. It has a little sizzle. Uh-huh. I have... A little bit of agave here. Okay. And a little bit of molasses. The molasses is going to give it that dark, rich flavor that we're looking for. As soon as that comes up to a simmer, I'm going to add a little bit of the earth balance, okay, or smart balance, which again is not calorically free, but it's, uh, it has no cholesterol in it. So it's a little healthier than butter in that sense. Good for your arteries. Good for the arteries. It's like eating oil because it's canola oil and it's olive oil. Okay. And then a little egg at the end. Which is going to help give the. And about uh, how much of each of these? Is it, is it look? What would you say? Like a fourth a cup? It looks like of each, basically. You're each putting one of in? these is a couple tablespoons okay. uh, for for this amount that we're making. But you can make larger scale uh, recipes, and and they'll work really well for you. Okay. These actually come out really good. So I'm turn the heat off. Let it come up. Now it looks just kind of like a mixture here, like a broken egg in there. But what will happen is, as it starts to sit, it'll come together and it'll be really nice and be nice and dark and rich. And after it sits for about ten minutes. We're going to end up having this. That's what you get, and that's what's going to hold all the pecans together. Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. To make the actual pies, petite form. There's the first thing. That's perfect. Make it smaller if you want to eat two. But mm -hmm. if you have the huge piece, or huge, I'll eat the whole pie. I don't know about you. I'll eat the whole pie. Probably. Okay, so we're on the same thing. <laughs> if I won't, my fiancé will. That's right. He'll finish it <laughs> off. Right. Good guy. Okay, take the crust. I used a little bit of whole wheat pastry flour and a little bit of earth balance. Mm -hmm. And I just roll it into a little half teaspoon ball, just like that. Okay, if so you, you do that for both of them. You like for, pat it down in there. Exactly. Now, if you want to 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 not stick 100%, put spray a little nonstick spray, but you don't have to because there's enough earth balance in there. Watch this. Just take your finger and just press it on the bottom like that. And then just basically throw everything in there, and you're good to go. Bake it 10 minutes. Comes out, and this is what you have right here. Perfectly baked crust. Oh, so you bake that first, and then you're gonna put it. Then in the you're other gonna stuff. put it. Yeah. Okay, great. I see. Okay. Now for the pecans, we'll just take some regular pecans. This is two whole pecans, just cut into four pieces. And I'll put the batter right over the top, put about three quarters of the way up. I'm going to bake that for about 20 minutes at 350. We'll reduce the heat down to 300 and continue to cook for and about 10 minutes. And we get over here. And over here. Ta-da! <laughs> the magic of TV. Right here. Look at this. Beautiful little petite pecan mm -hmm. And it pies. looks beautiful. I Thank love you. those little portions. Now watch so this. We're going to dress idea. it up a little bit. Now serving pecan, chocolate pecan pie is real popular in the South. But here, we're in the South, South California. So we'll do a little bit too. So just a nice way to kind of fancy it up. I could very do that, easy. right? Very easy. Little vanilla cream here. This is just part skim ricotta and fat-free cream cheese and agave. Again, not using heavy whipping cream. Take one of our pecan pies and you can place one right here. That's so beautiful. And this is really good for people who love to entertain. Maybe you want to entertain, but you don't want to be making all those sort of yeah. fattening foods. And never tell your guests. Expand our waistlines. Don't tell them. Make it. Let them eat it. And then if they like it, 
then you can tell them the ingredients. Just and so that's you know. the great thing about yeah. it. Yeah. They'll think they'll think they're indulging, but really they're being good. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, and we've actually posted this recipe. There's also a pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake. cheesecake recipe. And um, we post them on our website, so you can go there, click on the scene on tab, and, and check those out. All right. Thank you.